Hey there, welcome back. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. So first thing we gotta do is open up our unit list and let's heal everybody. We're at 2603 for um, prestige. So just the fact that we're getting that lower difficulty level is really paying off. Although getting elite reinforcements, we're all the way down to 851, so so here you can see we can upgrade to um, the JU88. It's expensive, but I definitely want to do that. Instead of hitting upgrade on everyone, let's just see what's new. So here we go. We got our Frostroom Yager and the Guybrush Yager. And then the transport's new. So we got plenty of stuff to spend. No new tanks. Recon. New anti-air. This, I think, is a captured equipment. Alright, so we, we did. We did the upgrade to the JU-88. Uh, we're definitely not buying another unit, and you can see we're already at max core. I don't... So the only other thing we could do is possibly replace our infantry with a paratrooper or something like that, but I don't think I want to... At not, not at least at the moment. Um, I might actually... Oh yeah, we can upgrade our transport. So it's just gonna, it's gonna cost 60. And extra... Holy cow, two extra... Two extra. Holy buckets. Oh, that's a wearmark. So two extra slots just to get the uh, the Gucci transport. Um, well, that's not going to happen. Okay, I guess that's what we're going to live with. Sorry, I was just taking a drink there. Alright, so now what do we want to do is our four units to come in and wreck these guys. This uh, recon ability, by the way, where you can see around your... Um, you know, like, so you can see around the the grid or around the uh, objective is really helpful because you can see here we have the two infantry to worry about <clears throat> so I think for sure we need infantry and the pioneer is perfect roll and then we're gonna take the other infantry that we have now we could have spent our prestige to over over um, over strength. Ah. Well, no, that takes extra core, extra uh, slots. So I can't do that either. So we're going to go ahead and put two infantry down. Um, I think a anti, or I'm sorry, artillery would be fantastic. And yeah, let's put a tank in there too. So that's going to be our four units we're going to land with. And I don't think we get to do anything with air. Um, okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hit end deployment because I think that's all I get to do. Okay. I forgot to assign a hero. I think we wanted to assign this guy. Plus five attack against full strength units. I happen to think that artillery is going to be hitting full strength units a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and assign him. Alright, so it gave me the warning that I may not be able to um, deploy the rest of my units. I'm thinking that might be because in a normal game that is true. But I'm going to take them for their word that we get to deploy the rest of our units once we take Trondheim. So let's do that. I'm going to hit end deployment. And let's see what happens. <coughs> so obviously we want to come in, we want to land. This is our first pioneer. Uh, this fort here, how much range does he have? Three. So no matter what, we're getting wrecked. Uh, yeah, so let's land the pioneer. We're gonna land him here, and I'm gonna move him one space inland. Same deal with him. Our artillery and yeah I'm gonna land my tank here and you'll notice that there was a message that this guy got encircled and I like that um, <clears throat> one of the things I sort of wish I took was the thing that gives double penalties for being encircled against the enemy now that would have cost two of our points I think but I do think I see value in that also the initiative one I'm seeing more and more value in as well because early in the game if you can punch them really hard, you can, you know, basically break through quicker. Okay, so we landed. We don't get to attack when we land. As you can see, all the um, uh, attack markers are gone. Now, somebody pointed out that these red lines are just the attack range. And, and the reason it's red is because the attack is gone, meaning you used it up already. So, um, anyways, I don't know why I didn't figure that out last time. But uh, uh, that's, that's how that works. All right, so let's... Now, here's the other thing. We have some neat naval forces, and they said that, you know, there's a chance the British are coming. And I'm willing to bet that they're definitely coming. Um, do I really want to go gung-ho after them, or do I want to sit back and wait for them to come to me? Uh, with these two forts here, I think I'm going to have a hard time. See, like, this guy, the destroyers can't quite damage forts. And here you can see I can do suppressive damage to forts, but that's it. I mean, if I get close enough, I can suppress Trondheim. But right here, you can see there's one unit actually already visible. So I'm going to stay back and just attack. Did three damage to this 26 tribal. And this is a uh, destroyer. Looks like we exchanged blows there. There, I did some good damage to him. There we go. I finished him off, but I just revealed someone else. Ah, my dog just hit my, uh... Sorry, folks. My dog hit my power cord on my monitor, so the game's going bonkers on me. 
And let me make sure you can still see what's going on. And the answer is yes, we can. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, ah, my dog. She's a good girl. All right. This is 30th Town. I wish I could see what this is. He's an entrenchment killer. Sing oh, here we go. What is he? He's a class, whatever that is. I think that's capital. Let's look. What's our class? Yeah. So that would be a capital ship. And then a destroyer. You can see right here. There we go. I could just hover over this. All right. So capital ship. And he's a capital ship. Perfect. That's perfect for a submarine to ruin his day. So, uh, done. I think that is it for us. I actually think this mission might be a little harder than the other one, but uh, let's keep it going, see what happens. I figured that was going to happen. Yeah, I figured that. That's not too bad. Well, let's wreck them some more with our sub. I'll just see if I can... Is there a way I can hit him without taking damage myself? Not really. So, we'll come in range. Do some capital bombardments. Finish him off with the destroyer. explore. Oh, there's a couple of them. Two, 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 two. That's the thing. These destroyers just exchange blows. Oh, we didn't even do as much damage to him. That's not good. Okay. I probably overextended there. Alright, so we got this. We have two units. Uh, let's focus on one at a time. I'm going to focus on this one. I uh, did one damage, five suppression. Says the pioneer unit ignores all entrenchment. That was excellent. And I'm going to move up. And let's take some prestige. He's going to move in. And finishes him off. And I don't quite have the... Oh, look at that. He's really not that strong. So let's move in. We just did five damage. And I'm going to move out of the way so the fort doesn't hit me. Um, I'm actually quite thrilled with that outcome. I'm worried I overextended with these two guys. trying to click on him. And then... There it is. Oh my gosh. We got all kinds of juicy ships here. We have a carrier. And then... That looks like a battleship there. So we got a little sub. Now what you can do is you can switch. So if I switch... So now I'm on the surface move more spaces, but I can't, um, obviously I'm going to take more potential damage. Um, I don't think I need to do that. I'm just going to stay down low. And let's move in. Wreck some of these guys. I think we want to just pick on them. 
as much as possible and finish off what we can. Done. And this guy only has one strength, but I'm gonna move him and wreck that carrier. Why not? Right? Sorry, I'm gonna get some caffeine here. Okay, well, you know, I would actually enjoy a naval game that has similar mechanics. Uh, maybe this isn't quite as good as Strategic Mind in the Pacific, but. It's definitely a step up from what it used to be. So let's go ahead and nuke him. And attack. I've got a nice retreat. We're gonna move in with the tank. Take territory. Finish him off. And then take this. And I thought it said that now we can deploy. So deployed units. Here we go. So now it's letting me deploy. Um, let's get our infantry out. Whoever goes here is going to be in range of that fort. Although maybe the fort won't be able to hit us. Let's get our tanks out. Well, that's at least something, right? We can get some more of our units out. All right, end of. Six damage, dang. First thing first, we're going to use our that battleship ran away from my sub, but I'm going to just use my sub then to damage that carrier. I don't know why they did so much damage. And then this particular fort isn't any better. Look at that. I'm going to take four damage if I go up and. Oh, they're just so well defended. This is way worse than south. Okay, so let's deploy some more. Get an artillery up there to help them. Oh, I could have gotten my planes out last round. My apologies there. There we go, we got everybody out. As far as my infantry go, Definitely going to be a tough battle up there. Right. Well, we destroyed. 
with that. There's a lot of mutual self-destruction going on here. I'm gonna come in with my one strength unit. Destroy the carrier, which should take out those planes. Please do two damage to that capital ship. <coughs> My capital ship took damage from planes. But maybe we can save the hipper, who knows. I'm more concerned with this nonsense up here. Got rid of that thing. It's so bad. Whoa, look at all that. That's awful. Everywhere is just going to be a battle. It's not very fun. All right, I think first thing I want to do is secure the north. So let's see what we can do about picking up that annoying port. And as far as down here goes. So far, no air force at all. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with this guy. These forts are like... They're not something to be messed with in this game. I'll just move him down here for now. Yeah, did you see all those planes just got destroyed? Because <laughs> the carrier's gone. Yeah, and that's what hurts. I just got wrecked. This is going to wreck me here. Holy cow. No. Yeah, I got to reload. That hurts. This is, um... This is so much harder than Norway South. Okay, I finished drinking my coffee, so I'm going to be a little more talkative now. Carrier is good as toast. Capital ship, good and toasty. I'm not even going to attack that capital ship yet. I'm going to let the submarine whittle him down. So, the part that hurts here... 
Because if I move to here, all oh, that crap show down below is going to come after me. So watch. So we just revealed a big giant crap show down here, and they can just wreck me and roll me. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move... It's like a turtle sticking its neck out. I'm going to stick the neck out, and then I'm going to make sure I have artillery support. So now if those chumps want to come after me, they're more than welcome to, but they're not going to get far. And... Then I'm going to send my infantry I'm still going to do that. I'm not interested in... I mean, if he wants to come out and attack, he's more than welcome to. care of is good. Oh yeah, we just encircled that port. That'll do it. Seven damage, holy buckets. So he outpaced my, uh... Hmm. I have to do replacements. I mean, they're wrecking me here. annoyed with this mission. Probably encircle this guy. Which I did. Then I'm going 
gonna move him to anti-tank mode. Come up and wreck the fort. See, they're, these anti-tanks are really good against these forts. This must be a hard target. Let's consider the structure. Is he considered a hard target? It's gotta be here somewhere. Attack. I mean, this is as good as an artillery here. 1321. Ground defense of 18. That's really good. Here we go. Target type. Hard. They're either soft, hard, air enabled. And this little tank means it's a hard target type. So that's what I was looking for. So yeah, that's why anti tanks are good against it. I'm going to go ahead and attack it with my tank as well. And let's see. Just need to harass these guys as much as I can. And what hurts the most is this particular tank took a lot of damage. I can artillery one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and get him. Retreat with my recon, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do that for now. Hmm. This is definitely quite a challenge. The anti tank guns, these 88s are paying off in many ways. Alright, end the round. That's not good. Three more damage. Jesus. Well, they went after my artillery. That funk. That was gonna happen. He's running away. He's coming over to harass us, that's what he's doing. Okay. Let's go finish off this fort. off this infantry. Did you see that? I just got 600 prestige for that. Oh my gosh. So, like for example, I'm going to get 100 prestige if I take that location. This one was, look at that, it's 400 but we took that thing that gives us an extra 50%, remember? That was one of the skills that we took. So we got 400 and then of course we got an extra 50%, so that made it 600. Wow, that was worth it. 50, 50, what about this fort? Just checking to see if there's anything else that's big payout like that, holy buckets. All right, <clears throat> and yeah, we got, kinds of crazy situation. This one here. Uh. Getting him to retreat like that isn't actually fun. Surrender. 
That's even better. I want to move them up to support me, but you know they're going to come in and attack me. So, I think maybe I'll just do that. Yeah, and I can come in and harass them with my fighters. Even if it's not going to be my bomber. this guy. Yeah, let's move up and suppress. We won't attack. We're just going to suppress. And we get this nonsense down here. down. He is going to get to resupply, but we at least took the city and he's quite weak. Alright. Ah. I wasn't expecting him to do that. That, I, I was expecting that. I'm expecting that. Yep, take some big losses there. That hurt too. But at least we know where he went. problem is if I move there, I can finish him off, but then this guy and this guy will both attack me. And then the fact that I do have a lot of prestige right now. That 600 really helped. Alright, so we finished him off. I took a big gamble charging down like that, but it paid off. Okay, so I got this tank. I think I need to move this way. I gotta help out on this side. This side's in trouble. And we're gonna go ahead and kill him and then I'm gonna back up one space. Go ahead and artillery that and move my tank in and see what This guy, for some reason, why can't he? Oh, because we're suppressed at 12. We have 12 suppression. Holy buckets. Um, they're gonna attack my um. Let's see if we can get him. Of course not. Let's suppress this guy. I keep forgetting if I do that to him, I could have taken away his last ammo. Let's go ahead and kill one of those. That always helps. And sure. There we go. We suppressed one. And so now the question is, is do I still want to I don't want to oh but I do want to move him well 
look at that, I could have taken this, so I'm gonna use my undo. And boom. 75 more prestige. I sort of saw that. Didn't see that coming. Definitely saw something like that coming. Killed my hipper, and he's running away again. That punk. All right, they're up in the mountains. Does that make them easier to hit? It does not. So we just hit them for. And then this unit is still suppressed. I think it's because I had no supply or something. He should re surrender. There we go. And then this guy, I need to get him some replacements. And we need to help support up here. Suppressed one. Killing one's always good. We can hit either one. Attacking this guy in the mountain's not good when I have tanks. So I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. least have the high ground. Yeah, see that's just not good. Let's get my other tank over here. I need some infantry support, but he's way down here. And come around with the tank. There's an artillery guy. able to get them next round. This northern part, this Namzo's thing is, man, all of this is just so tough. And of course, the fact that I was able to suppress him is going to save me. Yeah, look at that, he did four damage. No. Baloney. There's anti-aircraft up there. All right, well... I'm gonna use my JU-88 on the ship. So he's good and dead. I just don't have a ground troop. Oh, it would have been that one. It's okay. I'll get it next turn. like the fact
we go. Very good. This city I can surround if I could just get to the other side. In fact, I can do it just by moving here. I want to get reinforcements though first. without planes or something to help. Alright, well my submarine chased him all that way. Uh, you know what? I could probably... Moved a little too soon. Too soon. Just give me a second. All right. So I'm going to take my submarine and put him in surface mode. And there we go. I just took that back. But this fort's going to rock me now, but. Hopefully I don't need my submarine for any other purpose. And... <clears throat> Got another anti-air down there. We can go ahead up and... Artillery him. Ooh, I can't even move there. So I would love to keep my tank up here, but I think he's needed down here. And I think I got the upstairs here. I think I have this covered. It's just more of a matter of he's going to do some damage. And then as far as my bomber goes, see, I can't quite make it to Lillehammer. I can definitely rock his world here. Press him some more. That was actually quite good. And then with our tank, we're gonna probably annihilate him. So I wanna come down here and chop him off from supply. And so I will do that with my recon unit. This tank also can help. Oh, look at that. There's this guy right here. I didn't even see him. He's pretty deadly. I'm just going to stop there. He's going to probably do some serious damage to me. Let's see if I can get. Yep, I can get there with my uh, J88. Let's try to cut him off from supply. You know what, I can pretty much just attack him outright. We did three damage each. I'm not gonna attack with the tank. With the fighter though, we're just gonna hot shot anybody we can. That one actually did a damage, well done. And then let's come down and... All it does is just remove a level of entrenchment. Um, you can see, like right here, he was at eight levels of entrenchment, which you can see current level of entrenchment seven. Fifty-six percent damage from infantry is reduced. Seventy percent from vehicles and even from bombardment it's being reduced. So by being able to reduce entrenchment, like this one's five out of seven, and this one was seven out of ten. Now the one advantage, though, is that the pioneer here ignores all entrenchment. Uh, one of these. Um, yeah, he ignores enemy entrenchment, so that's why he was really good for that spot. Okay. We are 
you're done. Oh, I sort of knew that was gonna happen. You knew that was gonna happen too. Alright, everything's okay. My sub is gonna go back under the water. He was going to get hurt a bit. That suppression of only one sucks. Just knocked him back. Um, let's get some replacements. Reducing his re entrenchment, he's down to four here. Encircled. It's always funny though, I get them encircled, but then I just defeat them. Should retreat. Nope. This guy, why can't he attack? Fighter, get to him. Nope. Okay. That tank can move up. I think with this tank, I'm just going to retreat a bit. Not super good odds. These uh, ADHs used to be able to shoot two hexes. That made them really good too, but I don't do that here. four, but I, oh, come on. I completely healed. There. That's better. We're doing okay. I mean, we're on turn 13. We're not gonna beat this mission too easily, but I did take out two of my tanks here. One more. Probably heal. And for whatever reason, I can't attack. I must not be able to attack into that ter thick forest. Yeah, I can't attack that guy. 
That's crazy great. Got a bomber. suppression so with him being certain circled it's at least going to prevent him from breaking out he can't go up there so we can at least do that and then I got one more fighter which other than attacking a fort I can't really do anything with so another end turn oh they didn't even do anything all right, well, I got a 12 strength unit coming in and a six strength unit and artillery. I think the artillery for sure is gonna just start working on the town. And then for this round, we're only going to attack the anti-air. He should surrender. Oh, he isn't. He's damaged pretty bad. We can use a fighter. Let's take the other fighter and the bomber. interesting they healed up with this guy and I can come down and take away all of his ammo I'm gonna go ahead and take that and then I'm gonna just come right back get him encircled and yeah because it's a thick forest I can't attack him <coughs> I would need infantry to attack him suppression out of five units. I can't get to it with this tank. surrender this time. Just outright got defeated. Oh, still bad odds. That's better. Let's see if I take this objective. Because if I fail to take this objective, that means it's going to take another turn to win anyways, so I don't have to attack with that other unit. I'm gonna take it though. Interesting. That tank can't do anything. This guy is no longer suppressed. did take this one make 
this guy run out of ammo. Didn't even do anything. What the hell? Well, looks like we could possibly win this turn, so I probably should give it a try. Not quite. done there. <laughs> this guy, I, I think he's just stuck. Alright, so let's go up and do some kills. Some suppression. Some attacks. Yeah, we got him. And boom. Alright, well that was a it was a tough scenario, but we actually did okay. We did Belgium last time, and Belgium went pretty easily, but then the mission after that was hard. We can try Sedan this time. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching, stay awesome, and stay healthy and safe.